Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. Uh, today, we're going to do the Friday challenge. <laughs> so every week, I've been doing this crazy challenge thing where basically I get you to kind of look through your comics and find some of the best covers you can based on a theme. Last week's theme was snakes covers, like with snakes on the cover. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I, I showed some of my best snake covers and uh you know had some fun with it and um it was actually a real challenge to come up with snake covers i didn't realize actually after i recorded i, I found a bunch more but it's really hard to find covers with snakes on them but the one that you guys chose i always do a poll the one that you guys chose as the best snake cover from my collection that i showed um was this one thrilling comics number 64 Great Alex Schomburg airbrush cover. This one actually was a it was pretty close. It, another one almost won. So I actually recommend if you haven't seen the last week's challenge, check it out. There are some really great covers. Uh, this one just barely won. So this is uh, Thrilling Comics number sixty four Alex Schomburg airbrush cover. Great cover. Okay, so this week's challenge is actually a, it is going to be an interesting one because it's it's not only a challenge video. It is actually a spec video or a kind of a key issue uh, video. So a lot of the time, um, characters, they don't make their first cover appearance and their first appearance in the same book. And that's really what this challenge is going to be about. Finding that first cover appearance of a character, not their first appearance, but their first cover appearance. So if, if the character already made a, uh, an appearance in an earlier book and then this they finally get on the cover well that is what the challenge is about getting that cover appearance <laughs> so it should be an interesting one because this will actually give you some sense of when certain characters actually made their first cover appearance and it's surprising one of the books that's on my list it is actually surprising how long it took for them to get their first cover appearance so this is a really interesting list. It will be a bit of a um, educational <laughs> and fun, hopefully. Um, but I'm hoping that people will take up this challenge and show some cool first appearances on the cover. Uh, but but it can't be that they already that they made their first. It can't be that they're both a cover appearance and first appearance. If that makes any sense, they have to be. It has to be something where they had an earlier appearance in a comic, and then their first cover appearance appeared later. That's the key for this challenge. Okay, so I'm gonna give you an example of that. So um, the first cover for this one appeared in Satana, I believe number two. I believe that's the right magazine. Um, but this is their first comic cover appearance. And this is Hulk uh, 271, and it's the first appearance of Rocket Raccoon on the cover. <laughs> Okay, this is his first cover appearance, and it's kind of cute. Little rocket raccoon there. I'm a big rocket raccoon fan. So this is, uh, you know, his first uh, cover appearance. You got, like, it says rocket raccoon. Kind of cool. <laughs> so very cool first appearance um, on the cover. On the cover. That's the key. The next one is kind of an interesting one. Um, this is, again, not the first appearance. This is this character's first cover appearance. And this book is actually kind of hot right now. So this is great spec, <laughs> like a spec potential. Um, and there's a bit of a joke in that because this character kind of looks like a spec. It is The Spot. This is the first cover appearance of The Spot. Uh, you know, you got him and he's like all spotted. I, I think it's just a really great <laughs> cover appearance, first cover appearance. Um, he made his first appearance a couple of issues earlier, I believe. Uh, so yes, yeah, so this is um, just a really great one. I think it's actually maybe the issue before that he made his first appearance. Um, just a really great one. You know, Spectacular Spider-Man number 99. So just a, I really like this cover. <laughs> it's such a, such a funny kind of cool cover, like all these spots and him getting kind of pummeled. Um, so yeah, so the next one is one that most people don't even know about. This is a really under the radar first cover appearance. Um, this character, like, it's amazing to me that they didn't uh, uh, like, you know, uh, have a earlier cover appearance, but um, 
this was their first cover appearance. So this is um, Walt Disney Vacation Parade number two. And it's the first cover appearance of Scrooge McDuck. There's Scrooge McDuck right there. And he appeared in an earlier four color book, uh, 171, I believe. Uh, and it's like Bear Mountain is the name of the, the story. Um, <laughs> but he didn't actually appear in the cover until this book. It's kind of cool. So that's a really, really great cover. Okay, I, you know, it's like so fun to have all the characters there. And Scrooge McDuck just popping his head in. <laughs> that's his cover appearance. Okay, the next one on my list is another one where um, they actually appeared, they made their first appearance in the issue prior to this one. And this was, and it was actually interesting. Their first appearance was after like so many comics that kind of hinted at them, hinted at them, hinted at, hinted at them. And then they made their appearance and it was like, you know, kind of cool first appearance. And, but they weren't on the cover. You know, they built, had all this build up, but they didn't even put them on the cover. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. But this was their first cover appearance. And they're kind of characters that I love from my childhood. And this was their first appearance. This is the Smurfs' first appearance. Speedo, uh, 1072. Um, so it's the issue after their first appearance. So this is them at the top there. You can see Papa Smurf and all the little Smurfs. Right there. But uh, yeah, no brainy Smurf, but uh, lots of cool Smurfs. And no Smurfette. She appeared much later. So this is a very cool first appearance of the Smurfs in Spiro 1072. This is a French comic. So kind of cool. Uh, from Belgium, actually. So yeah, really cool. And next one is actually a character that had sort of a weird first appearance. Like her first appearance was like many, many books. <laughs> it's like you have to get like about 20,000 books, it seems, to get her first appearance. Um, you know, it's just a really great character. Um, and when she actually makes her first, like there's a whole bunch of picture, first appearances of her, like cameo appearances, where she's like to show the back of her head. And then finally, finally they show her, and, like it's like a cameo almost because it's the very last panel. And they, you know, she says a, like a very famous line, uh, you hit the jackpot tiger, <laughs> you know? And, um, but she wasn't on the cover. She was just on that panel. That was her first appearance. And this is her first cover appearance. This is uh, MJ. Uh, so um, this is Spider-Man 59. And just a really great kind of cool first appearance. She's like disco dancing or something like on the cover. And like behind the curtain is uh, Spider-Man beating up some villains. So just a really cool uh disco <laughs> kind of cover uh just really really great so yeah uh go go maybe go go i should say disco is much later so um yeah this is a really cool cover okay so that's mj's first appearance on the cover uh and that was um uh, amazing spider-man 59 and another really great first cover appearance is um kingpin from Spider-Man. So this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man 51. And, you know, even though Amazing Spider-Man 50 is, is such an iconic cover, it's just an amazing cover. It, you know, and number 50 is the book that everyone seeks because it is the first appearance of the Kingpin. Well, this one is where you get him on the cover and it's kind of cool to see uh, Kingpin on the cover looking all <laughs> like huge and, uh, Spider-Man looking very compromised. So just a really cool uh, first appearance of the Kingpin. And this is Amazing Spider-Man 51. So next on my list, um, I have to have some of my Golden Age girls in here. I was going to put Miss Mask because she also was one of those characters that didn't make her first cover appearance in, um, you know, her first appearance book. Uh, but I want to put this book on because this is one where I actually had to do research because it's one of those ones where you don't 
it's not labeled as being her first cover appearance. It, nobody knows that it's her first cover appearance, but I do. <laughs> I, I looked it up. I checked. I, I went through a whole bunch of comics in order to figure out where did this character make their first cover appearance? Well, this is where they did. This is Ranger Comics number 40. And this is the first cover appearance of Firehair. Now, it's a Golden Age character, kind of a, maybe a B-tier kind of character, but kind of a cool character. She had her own series. She was a long-running uh, character in the Ranger comics. Actually, Ranger comics, for after this issue, kind of had many covers with her. Uh, very popular character for Ranger comics. Um, one issue with Ranger's comics, just as a weird aside, is for some reason their colors always kind of fade and it has like this it's not that they were left out in the sun it's just something with the printing so um i don't know it's kind of weird they kind of all blend in a little bit too this kind of orangey color but it kind of works for fire hair because she's kind of orangey <laughs> so with her hair um yeah so yeah this is uh ranger comics number 40 first cover appearance of fire hair nice golden age character and speaking of golden age characters, that this is the one that I kind of hinted at at the very beginning of the video, that there was a golden age character uh, that really didn't make uh, his first cover appearance until way later, um, until he got into the Silver Age. <laughs> and it's just amazing to me that this was kind of like one of the big DC characters that just never made a cover appearance in the golden age. And it wasn't until this book that we get a really major character on the cover. Um, it's this guy up here. Uh, Aquaman. So Aquaman didn't make a cover appearance in um, any of the books during the Golden Age. But he did make a first cover appearance right here. <laughs> so kind of strange. I don't know why they didn't have him earlier. And I was told that this is the first time we see Martian Manhunter as well uh on the cover uh as you know his full self there might have been an earlier appearance where his first appearance maybe he was on the cover but it's like a batman cover it's like all batman <laughs> like a whole bunch of batman and maybe martian manhunter was one of those because martian manhunter can kind of change shape or you know change form so um but this is both the first time we see martian manhunter as the kind of recognized version of Martian Manhunter and also the first time we see Aquaman on the cover kind of cool so this is a major book uh <laughs> Brave and the Bold 28 but the first cover appearances okay uh next one is another major book uh so I'm kind of showing bigger bigger books I I you know I like to show my big books I like to flex I'm sorry but um I do love this cover and it is a character that I really like as well. Uh, this is the Silver Surfer's first cover appearance. And this is um, Fantastic Four number 49. So we got Silver Surfer making his first cover appearance. And it's a great cover. It's just a fun, fun cover because, you know, he's, you know, zipping around and <laughs> Fantastic Four are getting blown up. Uh, just a really great cover. And Galactus in the background. So just a really... Really great cover, um, Fantastic Four 49. First cover appearance of the Silver Surfer. And the last but not least, <laughs> definitely not least, uh, is a book that I show a lot. I, I love this book. I have to show it. It's kind of like, you know, I have to pay, you know, I spent a lot of money on this book, so I have to show it whenever I can, <laughs> you know, get the get my money's worth. Um, it is a big book, uh, definitely one that I'm super excited to have in my collection. It is the this character that I really love, first appearance on the cover. Uh, not their first appearance, but their first cover appearance. And it is Sensation Comics number one with the first cover appearance of Wonder Woman. So... <laughs> You know, I, I, I try to use this book as much as I can in my videos because it is such a major key. Um, I just love this book. I think it's a great cover, too. I, I just like the fact that she's, like, doing her her traditional, like, uh, 
deflecting bullets with the the bracelets i just think that is the greatest the worst type of armor if you're trying to deflect bullets but just kind of a cool idea that that's what she does she like deflects bullets like you know if you're gonna deflect bullets you'd probably want a bigger surface area to work with but uh just a really kind of a cool idea though uh so this is wonder woman uh wonder woman's first cover appearance in sensation comics number one just a really great one so that's my uh list of 10 first cover appearances uh, and some fun ones like you know not all of them are crazy expensive what i hope that people take up this challenge will kind of find some others that are really cool um actually researching this video i found some really cool ones that I'm going to be picking up because uh, there's some that I, I was surprised what their first cover appearance was and it wasn't a book that I had owned so um you know this book this this video has been very educational to me as well so um I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed the challenge I hope people take up the challenge and if you want to take up the challenge all you have to do is use the hashtag Friday comic challenge and uh hashtag for this one will be first cover uh first comic cover <laughs> first comic cover uh and then that will first comic cover so that's the second hashtag use those two hashtags in the title of your video and link your video in the comments below so everybody can see it so um hopefully people will take up the challenge and have some fun with this thanks again for watching bye for now